let me introduce you to a very useful and interesting feature in Word. Adding comments is a very common activity. But sometimes we want the other party to only add comments. We don't want them to edit anything in the document, just comments. How would you do that? Putting a document password to open it doesn't work because once you know the password, you can edit anything. Track changes doesn't work because track changes allows comments and editing. That's why Microsoft gave a nice feature under the review tab called restrict editing. This is a very powerful way of restricting document editing in many different ways. We are just going to learn one of them. We want to restrict editing. So choose this checkbox. But of course, we don't want complete restriction. That means it's a read-only document. We want people to add comments. So choose comments from this drop-down. Now this is a checkbox which anybody can activate and anybody can deactivate. I don't want that to happen. So I choose start enforcing protection and put a password twice. As of today, we need at least 22 character passwords for them to be effective. Assume the other party is now editing the document. They have no clue what is comment restriction. So naturally, they will try to type something and see what happens. Word opens this pane again and informs them that you can only insert comments in this document. Suppose you did not see this message and try to edit something. Notice that all the menu items which can lead to any kind of editing or formatting change are completely inactive. Now, how do you add a comment? There are three places. One is insert comment. Another is review new comment. And third is right click and new comment. I can add multiple comments. But this is much better than sending a completely editable document because when you get the document back, you can move to the previous or next comment very easily from here and take related action. So what is the conclusion? Comments have many things worth commenting about. So start using them and spread the word. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. Also subscribe to my blog Efficiency365 where I write one article every day about how to become more efficient using Office. Thank you.